The name of this topic is decimal place value, tenths and hundredths. We're asked to give the digits in the ones place and the hundredths place. It's important to know this. When they say the word hundredths with th on the end, that's going to mean behind the decimal point. If it did not have the th on the end, that would mean in front of the decimal point. We can use a place value chart to help us, which would look like this. The tens column is here, the ones here, decimal point here, tenths behind the decimal is here, hundredths is here. So if we write the number 45 and 93 hundredths in this chart, we would know exactly what number would go in each column. So the answer to this question, the digit in the ones place is the five, the hundredths place is the three. And just so you remember, hundredths means it would take a hundred of these to make one of these. It takes 10 tenths to make one one. So the answer would look like this. The ones, number in the ones place is the five, the hundredths is the three. Okay, let's do another one. Again, we're asked to give the digits in the ones place and the tenths place. If you can't remember which one is in which place, you can use a place value chart, which would look like this. Here's the tens column, the ones column, the decimal point column, the tenths column, and the hundredths column. Then we'll fill in the numbers that we were given in the problem, one for each column, and then we can answer easily. So the digit in the ones place is the nine, because that's what's in the ones column. The tenths place is the three, because that's what's in the tenths column. Okay, let's do one more of these. We're supposed to give the digits in the ones and the hundredths place. So before we click on the place value chart, remember hundredths, because it has this th on the end, is gonna mean behind the decimal point, the ones will be in front of the decimal point. So if we put the place value chart, it's the same chart for every problem. The order does not change. Tens column is here, ones, decimal point here, tenths here, hundredths here. So when we fill in the six, zero, five, and three in, this in the columns, we would see the digit in the ones place is a zero and the hundredths place is a three. So that would be our answer. And that is how you solve decimal place value, tenths and hundredths.